Hello everyone and welcome back to First Look, episode 15. And we're going to jump right back in just like we normally do, just taking a look at the packages of some of the recent gets or new releases on the market. So I just want to give you guys a heads up, that's what this series is all about. And just taking a look at the package. So if you see something online, give you a little bit of closer look. This is an, a Let Them Breathe series, so just to jump into it right now, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Black series, uh, specifically uh, two of the, the three newer ones that were just being released right now, and just, uh, I don't want to say like drizzling in through some of the shipping, because some of them have been delayed, but uh, I did get a couple of these, and we're going to take a look at Ura Singh and Kos or Koska Reeves. Uh, Costco Reeves, however, how many times they're pronounced on a Mandalorian show, or, but, uh, awesome figures, uh, I want to say probably even a little better than I expected, these were, uh, got these from the Target app and the pre-order sales, and, uh, I think they had a Star Wars sale going on, so not too bad at all, and actually right now, I think through today, as this video will drop, Target has a buy one, get one 50% off right now sale, I don't know if it's a precursor Black Friday type of sale, but all toys, buy one, get one 50% off. They do not include like NECA and Funkos, just to give you a heads up either, but not too bad, especially if you're doing some Christmas shopping and such, uh, you get some pretty killer deals right now, so go to the Target app and uh, get your buy one, get one 50% off deal. So let's dive right in, Star Wars Black Series, we'll take a look right now of Order Sing, Star Wars The Clone Wars figure. Uh, based off, I believe, the CGI animated series. We'll kind of give you kind of a better look at her. And uh, she's got the antenna, which people were saying early like it was too thick compared to that. Although if it is too thin, it would be easily breakable. So they had to do something. Uh, does look a little strange, not going to lie. But she comes with an awesome array of weapons. I love how the, the sniper rifle is colored. You can see she's got her, uh, I believe, leather vest. It's like got some weapons in there. Belt with the gun straps that will hold her two guns, as you see up there. Kind of just looks like molded chain around the belt, which is really cool. And awesome figure, very cool figure. As we'll turn it around here, box art, very sweet name on the side and basically get some light in here featured bounty hunter known for her chalk white skin and built-in comlink antenna Aura Singh was an expert sniper and trained assassin who would work for anyone who paid her and the rest is in other languages so very cool figure I think uh, thumbs up for this one better probably I would say than at first look on their antenna again is a little bit bulkier I think than the character has in animation itself but I believe they did that so it would not break I don't know if they could have just even molded a, a thinner type of rubber on there I just I'm not sure but that was one of the early complaints on it I mean I mean if you're that hooked up on it you, you might not like the character I have the unleashed version of her the force unleashed if I had it easily accessible, I'd have that as comparison, but unfortunately not. But let's jump right back into the other figure that's new in this wave, and this is who Mercedes Vernado, otherwise known as Sasha Banks, portrays on the Mandalorian series, Koska Reeves. Koska Reeves. And uh, again, with the lighting, got to do a better job here, so beautiful figure. Just love the kind of worn look to her helmet and armor. Kind of just looks like she's been through some wars. Gauntlets too, a little bit dirty and just really cool. She had that cool face off with uh, Boba Fett in the series. Love how they painted the handles on her guns and jetpack. Very cool. And you'll see. Again, I, I, I'm going to believe that they, they didn't want to pay Sasha the likeness on there. Although the figure, if it was open, you would see it looks just like her. Um, excuse me, but on the art does not show her at all so it's just showing her what would you would believe if it was an animated or comic book look so let's take a look and see what the black series Koska Reeves says a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat Koska Reeves is a loyal 
excuse me, is loyal to Bo-Katan Bo and is a member of a band of Clan Kryn, or, <clears throat> yes, of Clan Kryn's Mandalorians striking back at the Imperial Remnant. So, apologize if I pronounce her name incorrectly. Um, not sure if I've seen, I believe I've seen a reappearance of her on The Mandalorian, and I'm not sure if she was an animated form either, and if they did pronounce her name on that, I didn't see those episodes, so I apologize. So very cool. Uh, art is great on the side of the packages. The figures look, like I said, even better than uh, what I thought when I ordered. They do show pictures of what she is under the helmet, which is Sasha Banks with her kind of hair braided and back. If anyone you know is aware of the WWE Superstar. And just a cool figure, both of them. Very happy with them, especially at the deals I got off the Target app. And uh, just a couple of the ones I've had, you know, on the trading or selling block soon. Happen to have them out, so I'll just show you some of the different ones. Um, this was the Clone Wars series that they released from the smaller cards back in the day. Wasn't a really huge fan of them, although the Anakin is very cool. And uh, he looks more realistic than I'd say his animated counterpart, so the, it is a very cool figure. I don't know if it's a reused figure that they put in this Clone Wars packaging. Um, only the real one that I would consider keeping if, you know, but it'd probably trade or sell this in the future. But I have a few extras of this one. Uh, the Boba Fett Deluxe, very cool, awesome figure. One of these will be open one day. Um, just very cool. Artwork awesome. You can see, I don't know if you want to see that against Series Nemesis when they uh, faced off. That was a cool moment in The Mandalorian. Boba Fett, very cool. I know, I think he's getting one released in his Mandalorian look as well. You've got uh, Giancarlo Esposito's character, Moff Gideon. One I'm trying to trade, as well as Darth Ray or Dark Side Vision Ray. Ones that uh, I may have changed my mind on, but still cool. Maybe I'll change them back. I don't know. As of now, I'm looking to trade or sell them. But just kind of give you a first look here at these two. So, Koska Reeves and Ora Singh. Get them while you can. If you do see them, these things are currently on back order on the Target app. I'm not sure what their availability is like on some of the other toy sites, but they're winners. So, I highly recommend them. So please like this video, share this video, subscribe, you know, tap that bell for alerts so you see some new videos whenever we're dropping some first looks. And, uh, yeah, just give me some feedback, you know, if there's series I haven't done and you're interested in, uh, I'll let you know one way or the other if I'll ever do some videos on them. Pretty much you're seeing the lines I collect, so on these, if you've seen any of the first look videos, I've pretty much done first look ones on almost all the lines I collect, so... Just kind of giving you a heads up there, but you'll expect to see more of these type of videos in the future. So appreciate you guys all watching. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.